We're at the first meeting for the drafting of a new international standard on health and safety where delegates from countries like the US, Canada and China have come together to discuss what a new health and safety standard could be. With a reminder of why health and safety is so important, BSI's Director of Standards, Scott Steedman, opened the meeting. Occupational health and safety brings benefits not only to individuals but to organisations and to national economies and to society at large. I was reflecting in my car driving here this morning how many uh, people I know through my career have suffered uh, uh, health or safety incidents at work. And I wondered uh, how many of you through the room could think on colleagues or friends who have had accidents or incidents uh, and through uh, failures of occupational health and safety work. And I would be surprised if there were many in this room who do not know people who had suffered in this way. And uh, whereas uh, in our home life we have a responsibility to look after ourselves, in our occupational life the responsibilities of employers are, are very serious to try and make sure that people have every opportunity to go home at night and have uh, the same healthy condition that they came to work in the morning. So I really welcome the, the bringing together of this committee of uh, the communities of interest in this space, the, the International Labour Organization, the ILO, national members, OSAS, all of you here represented to take this work forward. So it is an historic meeting, and I, I wish you well in all the work that you're going to do this week, not uh, in your working groups, but also as we take this work forwards and future plenary meetings, and finally one day the launch of an international standard on population and health and safety. The Chairman of the Health and Safety Committee, David Smith, spoke to us over the course of the day along with other delegates. Here's what they had to say. For me, this is a great day that we now see the movement forward into the ISO community and making a standard that has more world worldwide re relevance than what we had before. Well, I think that this occupational issues uh, internationally are, are at the surface now after so many tragedies, so many places in the world. And I think that we are looking for uh, some kind of equity across the world in terms of the protection that people have and the obligations uh, to ensure a safe workplace. So I, I think that the timing is absolutely uh, right for this initiative. Colombia um, was, is working um, right now very hard to try to avoid um, accidents at work. We have some problems, for example, in mining. We have, like, in 2012, almost uh, 62 people killed in a mine. So that's why it's important to, hear, to be here, that to make a standard that can provide some guidelines. We need people to question and challenge, particularly how would other people, like small organisations, understand this, an SME, or how would... Uh, people with different uh, backgrounds, uh, cultures, whatever, and languages, these are all actually pose difficulties. We've got to have enough of those people to challenge because we mustn't write something that cannot be understood easily in the various languages, communities, uh, and you know the working arrangements they have in their country and their organization. We have multiple standards, and if you work for a multinational company, um, obviously the first advantage is that you only have one standard to really go by. This makes much more efficiency and there's a lot of equity in that. And you're not treating different um, countries with different kinds of standards. You're allowing for the flexibility, hopefully. But the reality is now you've got a standard that's going to actually produce something that everybody can actually adhere to. So it's, there's, there's just great things that could happen where certifications, or I should say conformities and things like that, you don't have to deal with multiple systems. Taking an on international approach is very important because it brings us all to the table in a consensus environment, which is different than trying to negotiate uh, you know, other kinds of agreements and arrangements. Each country thinks they have the answer, but when you come together, you understand someone else's position, and you only can understand that when people have different opinions. And I think that you end up with the best you know, outcome in the end. So my goal or my perspective is to be open enough 
to be able to hear my colleagues from around the world and to be able to work with them so we can have some sort of consensus document that frankly is going to save lives. My ambition would be that people get a good working interrelationship and understanding and, and that we're all working together rather than against each other. That if there are any suspicions, uh, they are overcome and people see that we're all trying to work to the same end and try and cooperate and work sensibly rather than you know, against each other. And that seems to be happening, so I'm very pleased about that. And a working draft and an understanding of where we're going with a good plan would be a nice outcome for this week. So there you have it. It's evident that many countries are now getting involved, including those from emerging markets, which can only be a good thing for the successful development and adoption of any new globally recognised standard.